Nasdaq is gaining ground to the tune of half a percent. Stephanie Link from Hightower, where she's the chief investment strategist, joins us now. I, I don't know what's more impressive, the resilience that we've seen in the stock market, given everything the Fed has thrown at us, or, or just these crazy swings and the magnitude of the, of the declines and the losses and the volatility, Steph? Yeah, no, I mean, it, we're in a trading range market, and it's going to be this way for some time. And it's really because we just have so many unknowns to deal with. I mean, this week it really has been focused on a very aggressive Fed, but we have had to deal with inflation, and still the war is in the background, too, which shouldn't be, because we, we know we're one headline away from the market spiking up or down, depending on progress, if they make any. But I think with regards to the Fed, I, I mean, they know they're behind the curve, and they're acting like they should. Like they should have done this 15 months ago, Sarah, you know that. We've been talking about that for, for, for that long. So if you add up what they're talking about doing all together, the balance sheet runoff, um, as well as the 11 rate hikes, that gets you to a Fed funds of about 3.5 percent, 3.7 percent by the end of next year. Anything can happen between now and the end of next year. Anything can happen between now and the end of 22. But I will tell you that I think 2022 is fine and that we're not going to be in a recession. I don't think that the 11 hikes that the Fed is planning on doing, nor the balance sheet runoff, is going to slow inflation. How do you slow inflation when you have health care inflation and you have education inflation. Rates are not going to change that by, by anything. So maybe they'll be able to impact housing, maybe somewhat on auto. I doubt that as well. And I also don't think that the rate hikes are going to lead to a lot slower growth because you still have a lot of momentum in the economy. You have great jobs, good jolts numbers, uh, and, and you have the services part of the economy doing very, very well. If you look across the spectrum of the, in the jobs market, services are coming back. In the non-farm payroll numbers, you saw it. In the ADP report, you saw it. In the ISMs, you saw it as well. So that's 70% of the economy, and that needs to stay strong. And I think you're just beginning, because that's travel, leisure, hospitality, et cetera, et cetera.